Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. And today, I'm going to be reviewing a movie I finally got a chance to see. This is the 2011 action thriller? I don't know even how to describe it. This is Hobo with a Shotgun. Okay, so, Hobo with a Shotgun sees a homeless man who's new in town, puts his dreams aside of buying a lawnmower, and picks up a shotgun instead to clean the city of the dirty streets. So, uh, <laughs> where do I even start? What did I think of Hobo with a Shotgun? Well, it's definitely one of the strangest films I've seen in many years. Um, <laughs> it's an over-the-top guts and gore bloodbath of a film. So if you're squeamish, you've been warned. <laughs> if you couldn't tell from the title. Um, some of the kills here, of course, will make you laugh because they're funny. At least I hope so. Otherwise, I'm a sick son of a... B anyway. Uh, <laughs> and in the spirit of the Grindhouse films, it has that 70s, 80s cult uh, film feeling to it. Um, you know, I was so ready to love this film. And, you know, uh, but throughout it actually became way too much and just way too weird. Even though it's supposed to be bad. It's still, I don't know, it was a too much for me. The story had a good premise, but some of the things that went on just seemed like they were just there to, you know, let's really shock the shit out of these people. You know, it's like, well, that was uncalled for, you know, type thing. Even in, the, even in a film called Hobo with a Shotgun, I mean. <laughs> like the two Corey Feldman wannabes who, spoiler alert, taking a flamethrower to a bus filled of children, and uh, also the Doctor Doom ripoff guy and the walking trash can as villains. I... <laughs> yeah, just, you, you, you'll want to see it, just to see what the hell I'm talking about, I know, but, God. Um, Rucker Howard is here to star as the hobo, and, <laughs> hobo, I said hobo, don't get all over me, Glad. I don't want... Yeah, don't get over me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, he's surprising... He's good. Well, that's not surprising because I like Rucker Hauer. But, and he's surprisingly sincere in his performance. You actually sort of feel for this hobo. <laughs> surprisingly, as he's blowing off people's heads. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, newcomer Molly Dutworth, I believe, Dunsworth, is pretty decent uh, as well, playing prostitute Abby. I'd like to see a little more of her, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, uh, and, uh, you know, and the rest of the cast, including Brian Downey as the Drake. Is that, like, the Clooney? I'm not sure. Um, Gregory Smith as Slick, and Nick Bateman the second as Ivan are all okay as well. They're the villains. Whether you love it or you hate it, Hobo with a Shotgun will stay with you for a while, I'm sure. Um, it'll stick with you for a long time, even though I thought I would like it more than I did. Therefore, the A-list gives the film Hobo with a Shotgun the rating of... Meh. You know, it's okay. Uh, I would still check it out if I were you, just to say you saw it. It's, But it's weird as hell, people. <laughs> so, if you want to check it out, you can. I think it's available through Netflix. You can do like I did and watch it on Showtime if you've got it. You know, I got it for my Emmy Rossum boobies. But, <laughs> and, um... Uh, anyway, you can find it at a DVD or Blu-ray store near you. The Emmy Ross and Boobies threw me off track there. Anyway, so peeps, until next time, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Check out some of my other videos. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on the Twitter, and of course, you can check out this review and every review at RottenTomatoes.com.
So, peeps, until next time. Troop!